What's going on everybody? It's a good afternoon and today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart the front of your FZ6 from all the fairings, the mirrors, and everything on the front end of this bike. But before we get into that, I want to just tell you that I've started making some shirts just for fun. I know there's not a lot of you out there, but I love designing stuff so I've made these shirts and it'd be great if you could check it out. The link's in the description from my Teespring website. Have a look. So the secret behind this bike is that I crashed it a couple of years ago. After crashing it, I repainted it, which is why it's two different colors, because I couldn't get the OEM Yamaha paint, and this is some of the damage. Ever since then, the panels haven't quite fit the same. These are some of the cracks I repaired with fiberglass after low-siding the bike just outside Los Angeles, California. To get started, we're going to take the 4mm Allen head bolts that hold the side black plastic pieces in, and then we're going for the 4 4mm four Allen head bolts that hold the center console plastic in. Don't forget about the two 4mm hiding on the inside corners of the inner dash. Before the front fairing and headlight comes out, we also have to take out the four 10mm bolts that hold on the mirrors on either side. With the inner dash off, we can see what holds on the headlight and the rest of the fairing. You're going for the bolts down right here, up here, and mirrored on the other side, as well as there's two more down in the middle here that hold on the front headlight, which the front fairing attaches to. My bike has this extra like eyebrow thing here, and it bolts in right there and right there. You can see I've done a little bit of fiberglass repair there from cracking it in the crash. Uh, it also clicks into the front. I know a lot of the FZ6 don't have this, but uh, it clicks in here, here, and up in here somewhere. It just kind of gives you more added wind protection for your hands. With the front fairing off, you can see where it attaches to the headlight in these four spots. The bike looks odd without all its front fairings. Only thing left are the three Phillips head screws that hold on the dash. This is the extra eyebrow fairing that came on my bike. I know it's an original Yamaha part because the larger fairing is and it clicks into the original fairing so it must have been produced by Yamaha. You can see it attaches with two screws from the inside of the fairing and about four clipping points along the inside. This is the one that wasn't damaged in the crash. I think the part number reads 4083607109090RE. And in the molding here it seems to say J O E H A. Joha. I have this problem with my right side turn signal always falling off. I've JB welded it and glued it back in place multiple times, but it always seems to break off. If anyone has any tips on how to fix this, let me know. Time to reassemble. Well, that's a wrap on reassembling the front end on the FZ6. It's really not too complicated as long as you keep track of your hardware and where it all came from. It should go back together pretty easily. You can't go wrong with this. I hope you guys found it useful looking at that new front eyebrow like extension on the front fairing. Hopefully that helps you find the part or make one of your own because it's pretty handy. I rode the bike without the front fairing for a little while and my hands got real cold. So I recommend you guys pick one up if you can find it. I think it's an OEM part from Yamaha. so. Check it out, see what you can find. I'll leave the part number in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Smash the like button or the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. As always, have a good day.